It's an interesting theory and could help explain how Nostradamus was able to see and know things that would not happen for centuries, things he was trying to warn us about. But 3797 could be a coded celestial reference, considering Nostradamus's frequent use of astrology and astronomy. Nostradamus has been credited with foretelling almost everything from the rise of Hitler to the assassination of JFK. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, it's an inarguable fact that there were queer correlations between the predictions of Nostradamus and numerous historical events. But what about the major events that our upcoming future holds? The attention of curious minds around the world has been drawn to stunning predictions that were made by the famous Nostradamus centuries ago about 2024, and you won't believe what they found. What are his predictions for 2024? Is 2024 going to be a good year, or is it time to sit up and prepare for the challenges ahead? Let's find out. A mere mention of the name Nostradamus sends chills down the spine of many because of his stunning reputation of making really accurate predictions that couldn't be averted no matter how hard those involved tried. The surprising thing is how he seemed to have predictions for every passing year. We're talking of predictions as harrowing as World War I and II, death of prominent figures on set dates under strange, unexplainable circumstances amongst other scary predictions. Year in and year out, these predictions are brought to light revealing the doom that awaits us. And finally, Nostradamus has also predicted that Mother Earth will suffer even more in 2024. But before we look at some of his stunning predictions for 2024 that has sent chills down the spines of many, let's take a brief look at his profile. Nostradamus, born Michel de Nostradam, started out as a medical professional, but over time, his interests shifted towards the mystical and astrological. At the young age of 14, he enrolled at the University of Avignon to study medicine. However, his studies were cut short after just a year due to an outbreak of the bubonic plague. During this time, Nostradamus visited the countryside, exploring herbal remedies and working as an apothecary. In 1522, he returned to academia, enrolling at the University of Montpellier, where he completed his doctorate in medicine. Despite disagreements with Catholic priests who dismissed his astrological beliefs, he was granted a medical license in 1525. Nostradamus gained recognition for his innovative approaches to treating plague victims. Instead of the traditional method of bloodletting, he focused on effective hygiene, proper disposal of infected bodies, and herbal remedies. His rose pill lozenge relieved patients with mild plague cases, and his cure rate was impressive. After settling in Salon de Provence in 1547, Nostradamus began to shift his focus away from medicine and towards the occult. He spent hours meditating, often in front of a bowl filled with water and herbs, which induced trance-like states and visions. These visions became the foundation for his predictions of the future. In 1550, he published his first almanac of astrological information and predictions, which was well received. This encouraged him to continue writing, and in 1555, he published his major collection of predictions, Les Prophéties, The Prophecies. Nostradamus utilized a unique method to obscure the meanings of his prophecies. He wrote in quatrains, rhymed four-line verses, and incorporated a mix of languages, including Greek, Italian, Latin, and Provençal. He claimed to base his predictions on judicial astrology, which involved analyzing the positions of planets and stellar bodies in relation to the Earth. While some astrologers criticized his methods, many believed his prophecies were divinely inspired. Let's briefly examine some of his predictions that surprisingly became realities. What are some of Nostradamus's famous predictions? Nostradamus first published his famous quatrains, or four-line predictions, 1555. His writings have continued to captivate audiences even centuries later. When examining some of Nostradamus's most intriguing prophecies, it becomes evident that many of his predictions have, in fact, come to pass. One of Nostradamus's most famous predictions was the death of King Henry II of France. In his quatrain, Nostradamus foretold, The young lion will overcome the older one on the field of combat in a single battle, he will pierce his eyes through a golden cage, two wounds made one, then he dies a cruel death. 
He will put out his eyes in a cage of gold. Two fleets won, then he dies a cruel death. And true to his words, in the summer of 1559, the younger Comte de Montgomery, six years junior to King Henry, jousted against the king on the fields of France in a friendly combat. During the final pass, Montgomery's lance tilted up, bursting through the king's visor and splintering, with one shard piercing the king's eye, pierce his eyes through a golden cage, and another in his temple making it two wounds. Thereafter, King suffered for ten days before succumbing to his injuries. An almost similar thing happened regarding the Great Fire of London in 1666, where he said, The blood of the just will be demanded of London. Burnt by fire in the year 66, the ancient lady will fall from her high place, and many of the same sect will be killed. And true to Nostradamus's words, a small fire started in a bakery on Pudding Lane in 1666, turned into a three-day blaze that consumed much of the city and the blood of the just, which refers to the people that died in the incident, as Nostradamus had foretold. As if that wasn't enough, Nostradamus's prophecy regarding the French Revolution became scarily accurate. According to his writings, from the enslaved populace, songs, chants, and demands, while princes and lords are held captive in prisons, these will in the future by headless idiots be received as divine prayers. And just as Nostradamus had envisioned, in 1789, the French people, tired of poor aristocratic rule, revolted and took control of Paris. The peasants who represented the enslaved populace in his predictions made their demands heard, while the aristocracy who represented the princes and lords were stripped of power, imprisoned in the Bastille. Sadly, some of the enslaved populace were eventually beheaded at the guillotine, just as the prophecy had indicated. In another of his predictions, he talked about the rise of Napoleon. In his quatrain, Nostradamus wrote, P.A.U. Nay, Loron will be more of fire than of the blood, to swim in praise, the great one to flee to the confluence. He will refuse entry to the piouses, the depraved ones, and the durance will keep them imprisoned. When closely examined, the capitalized words P.A.U. Nay, Loron can be rearranged to spell out Napoleon Roy, which translates to Napoleon the King in French. The reference to more of fire than of the blood likely points to Napoleon's non-noble lineage. At the same time, the part about refusing entry to the piouses speaks to his imprisonment of Popes Pius VI and VII. One of Nostradamus's most renowned and feared predictions was about the reign of King Philip II of Spain. In his quatrain, Nostradamus wrote, For seven years Philip's fortunes will prosper. He will reduce the Arab army. Then, halfway through, things will perplexedly turn against him. A young onion will destroy his fortune. True to Nostradamus's words, King Philip II's early years were marked by tremendous wealth and success for Spain. The seven years reference was interpreted as a biblical allusion to a prolonged period of prosperity. You won't believe it, but Nostradamus's prediction again proved accurate as Philip's fortunes took an unexpected turn in 1587 with the execution of Mary, Queen of Scots, who was also Catholic. This effectively ended his alliance with England. A year later, Philip's attempt to invade England with his Spanish Armada fleet was thwarted, further undermining his power. The quatrain also hinted at the Battle of Lepanto, where Spain defeated the fleet of the Ottoman Empire, an area inhabited by many Arabs. Philip would later call for the expulsion of Muslims from Spain. Lastly, interpreters alluded to the young onion to refer to the 36-year-old Henry IV of France, a Protestant. Due to their religious differences, Henry and Philip clashed severely until Henry's death. That was a really fearful unveiling of events, but even at that, nothing could be done to stop his predictions from coming to pass. And so, his next happened further exacerbating the situation. Another of the most scary predictions that made him feared by many was his chilling prophecy about the rise of Adolf Hitler. He wrote, from the depths of the west of Europe. He was also accurate about the rise of Adolf Hitler. But will his prophecies for 2024 come true? A young child will be born of poor people. He who by his tongue will seduce a great troop. His fame will increase towards the realm of the east. 
Nostradamus also foretold, Beasts ferocious with hunger will cross the rivers. The greater part of the battlefield will be against Hister. Into a cage of iron will the Great One be drawn when the child of Germany observes nothing. True to Nostradamus's words, Hitler was born in Western Europe to very poor parents, and he rose to power through his captivating oratory skills, eventually leading Germany's alliance with Japan in the East. Interpreters claim the beasts ferocious with hunger he talked about likely refers to the German army invading France, while the greater part of the battlefield alludes to the Allied powers defeating Hitler, who was ultimately drawn into a cage of iron, a reference to his downfall. Apart from his horrifying predictions, he also made really fascinating prophecies like the one concerning the famous scientist Louis Pasteur. Nostradamus wrote, The lost thing is discovered, hidden for centuries. Pasteur will be celebrated almost as a godlike figure. This is when the moon completes her great cycle, but by other rumors, he shall be dishonored. Pasteur, the renowned French chemist and microbiologist, made groundbreaking discoveries about the role of microorganisms and the importance of sterilization, leading to the development of pasteurization and vaccines. He was widely praised for his work. However, in 1995, a historian revealed that Pasteur had incorporated a rival's findings to create his anthrax vaccine, which partially dishonored the great scientist, as Nostradamus had predicted. Another of such predictions was about the rise of Charles de Gaulle. Nostradamus wrote, Hercules, king of Rome and of Anmark, three times one surnamed de Gaulle will lead Italy and the one of Saint Mark to tremble, first monarch, renowned above all. True to Nostradamus's words, Charles de Gaulle emerged as a three-time leader of France. First, he led the Free French Forces during World War II, then he became the Prime Minister of the Provisional Post-War Government, and finally, he served as the first President of the French Fifth Republic, cementing his status as a renowned figure. No one ever saw the fulfillment of his next prediction coming to pass because of how gruesome it was, but it did. And again, humans became apprehensive about what would happen next. The prediction in question is one he spoke of, the development of the atomic bomb. He wrote, Near the gates and within two cities there will be scourges the like of which was never seen, famine within plague, people put out by steel, crying to the great immortal God for relief. In early August 1945, the United States dropped two atomic weapons on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, leading to unimaginable suffering and devastation. The survivors of the blasts cried out to God, as Nostradamus had foretold, seeking relief from the horrors they had witnessed. The United States seemed to experience calm after that incident, unaware that another period of dark clouds was approaching. And so, just years after this horrific event, another of Nostradamus's haunting predictions about the assassinations of John F. Kennedy and Robert F. Kennedy, where he wrote, the great man will be struck down in the day by a thunderbolt, an evil deed foretold by the bearer of a petition came to fruition again. According to the prediction, another fall will occur at night. In November 1963, President John F. Kennedy was gunned down in broad daylight, and just a few years later, his brother Robert was assassinated in the late hours of the night. For the umpteenth time, the world was left in mourning and conflict, as Nostradamus had foreseen. Was that all? No, in fact, honestly, it seems there's no end to his harrowing predictions coming to fruition, as in 2001, his prediction about the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, where he said, Earth-shaking fire from the center of the earth will cause tremors around the new city. Two great rocks will war for a long time, then Arethusa will redden a new river, came to pass. On that fateful morning, the two towers of the World Trade Center in New York City were attacked. Now the image of two passenger planes flying into the twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York has been etched indelibly in public memory. Setting off a chain of events that shook the world. In the heat of the chaos, the two great rocks which referred to the twin towers, each other collapsed. That was one hell of an event. But do you know that he also made predictions about his death and the fate of his final resting place? According to accounts, he died on the exact day he predicted his death. And before that, 
He allegedly made the townspeople swear that his grave would never be disturbed. However, decades after his death, his body was exhumed and a remarkable discovery was made. A brass plaque was found on Nostradamus's chest, stating the exact date and time his grave would be opened, along with a curse upon those who dared to disturb his final resting place. This mystery only heightened the fascination surrounding Nostradamus. Even last year, his predictions about climate change came true exactly as he foresaw it. The famous seer warned about very dry landscapes and massive floods. His exact words were, For 40 years, there will be no rainbows seen. For 40 years, rainbows will be seen every day. The dry earth will become even drier, and there will be big floods when rainbows are seen. As 2023 went on, the world saw many extreme weather events caused by global warming and climate change, just like Nostradamus had forecasted. There were terrible droughts, wildfires, powerful storms, and devastating floods in many parts of the world. The effects of climate change could no longer be ignored. Early in the year, there were severe winter storms and freezing weather. In Afghanistan, a brutal cold snap killed 166 people and many livestock froze to death. Mohi in China had temperatures as low as minus 63 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 53 degrees Celsius. Even the desert country of Algeria got rare snowfall for the first time in 10 years. Then came scorching heat and drought in many regions. A record-breaking heat wave hit India, China, Laos, Thailand, and other parts of Asia. In the southern United States, there were early tornado outbreaks, with one killing eight people and injuring 53 more. Across America, tornadoes left 58 people dead and caused two powerful EF4 tornadoes. The oceans also grew very powerful and dangerous. Cyclones like Freddy, Mocha, Bipar Joy, and others caused massive damage when they hit coastlines from the South Pacific to the Indian Ocean. Cyclone Freddy was the longest-lasting tropical cyclone ever, raging from early February to mid-March and killing many people. Cyclone Mocha alone killed 438 people when it struck Myanmar. Other weird events, like Cyclone Helios bringing heavy rains to drought-stricken Malta after 80 dry years, and wildfires across Alberta in Canada, forcing 13,000 to evacuate, showed how crazy the world's climate was becoming. Not to talk of the heat waves that heat every region of the Earth further making scientists declare 2023 the hottest year in history. One would think that after decades-long predictions and accuracy, he would finally have a breather, but it seems there's no end in sight, as some scholars recently found some really stunning predictions he made about 2024. If you think the former was shocking, wait till you hear what he had to say about 2024. We're in for a long thing. What are Nostradamus's chilling predictions for 2024? In 1555, the famous French astrologer Nostradamus made some intriguing predictions about the British royal family in his book, Les Prophéties, or The Prophecies. One of his prophecies hinted that the ruling king could be forced to abdicate the throne, and Prince Harry might unexpectedly end up taking over as the monarch. Nostradamus wrote cryptic verses stating, the king of the isles will be driven out by force, and that he would be replaced by one who will have no mark of a king. While vague, this suggests the current king being ousted, and Prince Harry, who wasn't groomed for the kingship, ascending to power. Now, this may sound far-fetched, this was the same man who accurately forecasted the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The palace has just issued uh, this statement. It says the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Who passed on in 2022 at around 96 years old, exactly as he predicted. So, he did have a bit of a track record when making royal predictions that came true. Fast forward to the present in 2024, and we find ourselves in a fascinating situation with the royals. King Charles III, who only recently ascended the throne after his mother's passing, has been diagnosed with cancer. Thankfully, reports indicate it was caught relatively early by doctors. However, the king's estranged son, Prince Harry, has now rushed back to London from his home in California upon hearing the news of his father's illness. As we all know, Harry and his wife Meghan have been engaged in a bitter feud with the royals 
since their disruptive exit from duties a few years ago. Harry even released an explosive memoir revealing the not-so-pleasant secrets of his family. While it seems like an extreme long shot, some can't help but wonder, could this sequence of events somehow lead to the ousting of Charles and the installation of Harry as king, just as Nostradamus appeared to foretell? Only time will tell if the astrologer's words prove prophetic yet again. Let's look at another prediction Nostradamus supposedly made for 2024. This one is pretty ominous, with the famous seer warning about a red adversary who will become pale with fear and put the great ocean in dread. Before we get too carried away, it's essential to understand that these are Nostradamus's signature cryptic quatrains we're dealing with. The guy wrote in riddles and metaphors, so figuring out exactly what he meant is open to interpretation. However, there are plenty of modern analysts out there who have taken a look at the current state of world affairs and come to the conclusion that this eerie verse could be a prediction about rising tensions with China. Think about it. The red adversary metaphor seems likely to refer to the Chinese communist regime with its bright red flag and adherence to red symbolism. And with China's increasingly aggressive moves to exert naval control in the Pacific Ocean, the line about putting the Great Ocean in dread could correlate to that. Of course, this is just one potential way to interpret these centuries-old cryptic lines written by Nostradamus long ago. He may have been referring to something completely different back in his time. But you have to admit, given the escalating back and forth between China and Western nations over Taiwan, the South China Sea, and other issues, it's kind of eerie how well this material seems to line up with a potential future military confrontation with the rising superpower of China. Then again, maybe we're just trying to make Nostradamus's mystical writings fit with current events, seeing what we want to see. Still, he accurately predicted some major shifting conflict with China's forces on the world's oceans, leaving the entire region gripped in fear and dread. This is an alarming possibility nobody should want. Another of his scary predictions for 2024 deals with the state of the earth itself, with the famed seer cryptically warning that the dry earth will grow more parched and there will be great floods when it is seen. As is always the case with Nostradamus's prophecies written in those quatrains, there's plenty of room to interpret what he may have meant. But there are a few compelling theories from modern analysts trying to decode this ominous verse. One interpretation that carries a lot of weight suggests Nostradamus was essentially predicting the severe impacts of climate change and the rise of extreme weather events that we've witnessed more frequently in recent years. According to him, tsunami waves won't be actual waves of water, but something just as powerful and destructive. Nostradamus says these tsunami waves will devastate entire farmlands. So huge areas of land where farmers grow crops will be completely destroyed. Along with these devastating tsunami waves, Nostradamus also forecasts that 2024 will see extreme climate chaos. He predicts there will be long periods of severe drought, where it's extremely dry. But then also times of excessive moisture, with too much rain and flooding. To make matters even more scary, he made some harrowing predictions about the Pope. In his words, through the death of a very old pontiff, a Roman of good age will be elected. Of him it will be said that he weakens his see, but long will he sit and in biting activity. This prediction says that Pope Francis will pass away, and after his death, an old man will be elected as Pope. People will talk about how this new Pope isn't strong enough, but he won't let that stop him, and will end up having a long and active papacy, despite the criticism. The world waits with anticipation to see if Nostradamus's prophecy will come to pass. But judging by his track record of accuracy compared to the few that were seemingly awfully inaccurate, we're forced to tighten our girdle because 2024 will be a hell of a year. Thank you for joining us on this episode. For more updates and exposés like this, do well to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to support us by liking the video. See you soon.